A message to the passport bros. Hello there, my name is Sparrow and I have just come back from the Philippines. I stayed there for one year and in this video I will talk about if the country is right for you, if you plan on living over there full time or if you plan on finding a Filipino wife. Also, those of you that just want to go there for a holiday, in this video I will talk about what I like the bad of the Philippines. But first, before I start, I want to start from the beginning and how I ended up in the Philippines. I was studying Japanese and aiming to go to a Japanese school in Japan. I changed my job and become a Japanese translator. While I was learning the language, I ended up getting to know a Filipina. And over time, our relationship got stronger and stronger to the point she made me want to go over there and meet her. What I did not know what was to come was I ended up getting a visa, ended up going there for a year, and even ended up marrying her. This is my experience and observation of the Philippines. Let us start with the people of the country. Just how friendly are the people? The answer might shock you. While most Western people go to the Philippines, tell other Westerners that the country is a friendly place. The truth, they are not as friendly as one would assume. You will think they are friendly because they see a Westerner and will take your suitcase and put it into the back of a taxi. Or wanting to help you find locations or even help you get a boat, say they will line up for you on your behalf. One could misinterpret this behaviour for being nice or kind, but the truth is they do this for tips. Most of the people are unemployed in the Philippines and will try and get money out of the Westerner any way they can. This also includes trying to get you to use fixers and even trying to scam you into business. I had to keep telling the people I will do it myself and some of them ignored me and even tried taking my suitcase or shout for a taxa and then demand a tip from me. Obviously I refused as I told them I did not need their help. People will try and befriend you so they can go out at night with you, drink alcohol or have a free meal and say they have no money and hope that the foreigner they are talking to pays for them. I never had this experience myself but I did see this happen to other westerners and it's mainly the women that do this, not so much the men. But having said this, they are happy going and will happily talk to you if they speak English. If they start laughing, it is because they do not understand English well and are shy to tell you. If you do not know where you are going, they will point in a direction, even if they do not know themselves, rather than just tell you they do not know. I had an African traveller come up to me asking for directions. He told me everyone he asks just keeps pointing in different directions. Turns out he wanted to find a 7-Eleven store. I told him where the location is and he was very happy and went off. I did have one experience that I would never have in England and that was when me and my wife was walking back to the hotel. There was a group of men outside of their house that invited me to have a shot of Tandai with iced tea. At first I was wearer, as I am from the UK, but I accepted and stayed there talking to them for 10 minutes. After that we continued to walk back to the hotel. That would never happen to me in England. Filipino people are genuinely a relaxed personality and are down to earth and are very approachable to talk to, but at the same time they are also ignorant when it comes to the West. They think every Westerner is rich and they believe that we all have gold knives and forks and also spoons and a gold toilet and that we all own at least one gold bar. I do not know how they come to this conclusion of us but I was left speechless when told this by a lot of Filipino. I told them that I come from a poor family that built our wealth over time and that most families in the UK of poor income families and struggle with so many bills and the cost of living. They just looked at me like I was a kidder and laughed. Most women talk about how they want a western man to come and sweep them off their feet. In fact be warned my fellow passport bros as I have had multiple conversations with Filipino that do not care about the western man. They just want a rich western man 
to come along and get them out of their current living situation. I have been told by my wife when we are speaking to other Filipino that they admitted to her they have multiple online Western men talking to them and send them money and even trying to tell my wife to do the same and not exclude herself to me. But she got angry at them and had a go at them. Not all Filipino are like this. But do not be stupid and think that every woman in the Philippines are all genuine and angels because you will have all your money took from you in an instant and kicked to the road if you have that mindset. A lot of women I have spoken to openly admit they would rather go with an older man because they know his pension is more than enough for their way of life to be improved. Others have straight out admitted to me they would have a western man as a boyfriend and have them send them money and not even be interested in meeting them in person, as they already have a Filipino boyfriend or husband. I am not making this up, I have been told this by the natives and other Filipino have also been shocked to see my wife with a young man and asked her why not a pensioner. Now here's the good part, they were all city women that told me this. The women I spoke to in the province area did not even talk like this. This does not mean They do not think like this, but there is definitely a difference between a city girl and a province girl when getting to know them. My wife has also been in conversations with other women in group events and have told me that she is disgusted with some Filipina. She has spoken to in in the groups that admit they are only with Western guys for their own personal goals or admitted to having multiple men on the go. I know most things I have spoken about now sounds like I am bashing the Philippines, but I am not. This is my experience and observation of Filipina, and no, not every woman is like that. Most women I speak to was the opposite. Decide to talk to them online. You must keep your wits about you, and do not wear your heart on your sleeve. And more importantly, never send them money online. I will be blunt with you right now. If your only goal is to move over to the Philippines or travel for a girlfriend or wife and you haven't had any relationships in your own country, you are going to be chewed up and spat out. If you have had relationships with women in your own country but you was too soft in those relationships, i.e. a beta male or a simp, that lets women walk all over you and give you no respect you will be chewed up and spat out in the Philippines. I have physically seen this five times while I was staying in the Philippines. I have seen a lot of beta men walking around the Philippines that let their Filipina girlfriend treat them the same as you see back in your own country. I have spoken to expats that tell me their wife will not let them do what they want and that they must give them the money to look after and basically talk about their wives like they are the head of the house. And I hate to say it, I have also seen below average men being taken advantage of for their money. I have seen this happen when I was on Logan Island. This woman was making him give all his money to her, and he was not even aware of what she was doing. So I will say this man to man right now, if you are too soft when going over there, you will be taken advantage of. Now most men that was taken advantage of was American men. Other guys from other countries looked like a leader and walked around as such. So take that how you will. Speaking of American men, the Americans that go to the Philippines are giving you all a bad name. I have seen firsthand how most of the men try talking to Filipina and it is cringe and embarrassing to see men think they are rich trying to flaunt their money about trying to pay for Filipino to have sex with them yes you heard right the men I have seen have outright done nothing but disrespect the Filipino I think money talks most of the women I have spoken to at bars outright tried to ignore Americans and tried to speak to men from other countries there was one American guy that almost got beaten up with how he was trying to pick up one of the ladies and even groped her. 
She shouted for her boss for help and a lot of men surrounded the guy. I thought I was going to watch him get his head kicked in, but luckily for him, she told the men to just throw him out of the bar. Unfortunately, I have seen too many of you first-hand talk down to the locals, and at least in Cebu and Bahol, I have had women telling me they try and avoid Americans. With what I have seen of these men, no wonder American women call them rejects. Of course, this does not apply to all American men, so if you get triggered by what I say, you must be one of the rejects that has got triggered. Filipina are very jealous and insecure by nature, especially if they already have a man. He does not even have to be from the West. My wife is also like this, and I told her from day one, I will not tolerate this behavior, and she is currently working on herself. When it comes to the Philippines, you have to be very patient with everything. The country is a lot slower than the West, and you will be in lines for hours, and do not even get me started on road traffic. You could be looking at number plates for hours. When it comes to supermarkets, you could be lining up for at least an hour for you to pay for your groceries. You could also have people trying to cut in line. Personally, I do not tolerate this and tell them to get to the back of the line. There are a lot of beggars in the city. Also, you will have children following you. Just make sure you have your hands by your pockets or have tight pockets, as I have seen children pickpocket people. Just be smart when going out, especially if you are walking alone. Just take what you need with you when going out. Leave your bank cards in the hotel and just take the cash that you think you need out with you for the day. I personally in the city only take 5,000 pesos as that was more than enough for the day. Last thing you want is having all your important documents or visa cards with you in your wallet if you end up getting pickpocketed. At least if you leave them in the hotel the worst that can happen is some money has been stolen. Those of you that want to live in the Philippines I will say this if you do not know how to cook, I strongly recommend you start learning to cook, as every dish in the Philippines is fried, which is very unhealthy for you. And do not rely on your Filipina, as she will only know how to cook Filipino dishes, and most likely not know what an oven is or how to use it, like my wife. As for food, when it comes to meats, you're better off going to a butcher or a supermarket. I would not recommend the markets as they do not have any anything to stop the meat from going bad and in temperatures over 30 celsius you do not want to be buying the meat on display unless you like having food poisoning and if you think it's cheap in the philippines when it comes to the cost of living i would have to strongly disagree with you i did some shopping that came to 3000 pesos which in pounds comes to 43 pounds. The problem with the price is if I did the same back in the UK, I will get more value for my money. On one hand, yes, it would be cheaper in the Philippines, but the quantity of food I got was not the same as if I brought it back in England. What I mean by this is the size of canned food and the size of packaged food. You will see more canned food that is imported from America on shelves, but the cans are very small compared to UK cans. So an example of this would be baked beans. Four of the canned beans in the Philippines makes the same size as one can of beans in the UK, but you can end up paying more for it in Philippine pesos. A loaf of bread is about half the size of a loaf of bread in the UK. I could go on but I hope you get my drift. I am not moaning about this. After all you are in a different country but I want to make you aware of the difference when you decide to move here. Also there is a lot of sugar in the food here and most of it is imported from America so Americans will not probably be bothered by it but if you're a man from another 
country, you will be buying foods that have sugar, even if you go to make your own spaghetti. For example, you might pick up a sauce that will have sugar in it. So if you are a healthy eater, it will take you a little while until you find the right foods for you. Prices for houses are cheaper and building your own house will be cheaper than back in your own country. I rented an apartment for two months and it cost me £900 and I was more than happy with the price and space I got for the asking price. If you plan on travelling around the Philippines, I do recommend BNBs over hotels as you tend to get more value for your money. I personally used Airbnb when it came to looking at places to stay throughout my stay in the Philippines. I cannot comment on building houses as I've not started looking at that myself yet. But for a traditional Filipino home, I was told it would cost over 100,000 pesos, which comes over 1,407 pounds. But let's be honest, you're a Western man and need Western comforts. So if you build your own home, you're talking over £20,000. But that also depends on what type of house and rooms you want to build. It could be cheaper or it could be triple the price of what I mentioned. Personally speaking, when I build my own home, my budget will be £20,000. If you are looking for a place to retire to, then the Philippines could be a place for you to consider. If you want to retire by the beach, you have so many beautiful locations to choose from throughout the 7,000 islands of the Philippines. I come across one island that's called Logan Island. It's mainly a place for scuba divers, but it's so clean and peaceful. I'm only 33 years old, but I told my wife at retirement age, this island ticks all the boxes. Beautiful scenery, the island is quiet at night because of the tourists are asleep for early morning scuba diving. Lovely beaches and white sand. And although I did not do a lot of island hopping while I was in the Philippines, I know there are thousands of beaches that are perfect for you if you want to retire by the sea. There are also some breathtaking areas on land on the main islands if the beach is not for you. The mainland of Bohol comes to mind and places from Cebu up and down the island. There is also Komotus Island and a lot of western men all talk about retiring in Dumaguete. As for those of you that want to go on holiday and do a two week or more adventure and are young I would recommend starting off in Cebu and making your way around the island and then getting a boat across to Bohol and making your way to Elona Beach. The nightlife there is amazing. If you are older in age and do not want the nightlife, instead of crossing Bohol, you could travel to Dumaguete and explore the island as there is some great places on that island. Sadly, I did not get a chance to view that island. I can only say right now, if you look up those locations and start planning your holiday, you will not regret your holiday to those places, but you must plan out your own journey. One tip I will give you when it comes to getting off the boat, do not get the taxi at the pier in Cebu. Just walk from the pier and find a taxi from the sitter. It will only take you maximum two minutes walking. If you get a taxi from the pier, they will try and rip you off. For example, in the sitter, holiday in from the same mile radius is roughly around 90 to 110 pesos but from the pier to the to holiday inn they want to charge anywhere from 500 to 900 pesos don't fall for the scam and if you are not carrying too much gear just walk from the pier and save yourself some money if you go do Magetta, there is no taxes and if you go behold from the pier it should cost you 900 pesos at the time of this recording to get to Alona beach which is around a 40 minute drive and I think that is a fair price from the pier. That's if you even decide to go to Alona Beach. But Hull is a big island after all. Be warned, if you are not aware of this, you are now. There are a load of ladyboys here in the Philippines. 
and some of them are hard to spot. Now, I'm not judging if you're into that type of thing, then you will be very happier. If you're a straight guy, be warned that if you're alone and drinking alcohol, you will be approached by ladyboys. It was very common to see them in a bar and some men did not even know they had a ladyboy accompanying them. I was staring at a few and did not even know they were ladyboys until the staff or my wife pointed out that they were. I do love the culture and the patriotism from the Filipino people. There is something wonderful and magical about the people that I admire. They are always so happy and welcoming to talk to and do not have a care in the world and live day by day as it comes. If you make a true friend with a Filipino, you will be part of their group and invited around to have drinks with them or even have dinner and be asked to join if there's events such as birthdays. I was invited round my friend's home every day and they wanted to cook and drink with me. They never asked for anything in return. But when I did go round, I always paid for a case of beer. If they already brought one, or if they was going to go and get food to cook, I'd always offer to help pay for ingredients every time. I offered this, I was told, no, you are the guest, and would not take my money for ingredients. I was also invited to go on holiday with a family from the BNB I was staying in. If I had too much food or could not eat all of my takeaway, I would ask them if they wanted some. And also I was greeted with the same kindness and was asked to join the family to drink with them and even go on their holiday with them to Komotus Island. I had a wonderful time with the family and have so many great memories while being with them. You will feel like part of the family with your friends. Here, Roxanne's one of my wife's friends went out of her way to help me when my wife went to work and asked me if there was anything I needed. Even if I needed a rice, she would help. I remember asking her, where can I find some good rice? And she came knocking on the door 40 minutes later with rice and passed it to me and went to leave. I asked her how much. She says, don't worry about it. I am not a man that does freebies. So I ended up treating Roxanne and her partner. Now for the million dollar question. What's it like having an Asian partner, specifically a Filipino as a partner? Well, I'm from the UK where we tend to follow trends from America. For example, the women that think being big and fat is beautiful and shame men if they do not find it attractive and that they won't go with a man unless he has six figures and is at least over six foot. But yet shame men if we want them to go on a scale. They also have bad boss, bad attitude and have masculine energy nowadays and constantly telling us they do not need nor want a man. Well, in the Philippines, throw all that out the window, what I just said. Because all the women I spoke to had the same feminine energy. There was no shouting and screaming from them when you seen them walking around the streets. They was very reserved in nature. And I was surprised to find out a lot of my wife's friends, or people she knows of, are still virgins at different age groups. And it's not because they are ugly. It's because they are conservative and don't sleep around in general. Yes, you will get those throts in the cities that just want fun. But the average Filipino just wants to find that one guy she wants to settle down with and have a family with. And with the reputation of Filipino men always sleeping around, a lot of her friends are scared to find the wrong man. So do not entertain men or are very busy trying to earn money. Uh, they do not have the time or the spare cash to go out and find a partner. But you will quickly find out how submissive and feminine they are. And do not get confused with the word submissive. As in, will back down and not tell you what they think. Submissive as in, they will happy for you to take the lead in a situation or outing. When you do have a Filipino fall in love with you, she will be doing her best to make you happy and even start pampering you. What do I mean by this? Well, an example of what I mean, I normally cut my own fingernails and toenails. My wife was doing hers sitting next to me and grabbed my foot and started to try doing my nails. At first, I moved my foot, asking what's she doing? She says, I want to do your feet 
and her nails. I've never had a woman do this to me and was a bit uncomfortable, but I decided to let her do it and she was happily doing it while talking to me. It felt weird to me and I did not know if I liked the feeling or not. And she looked at me and asked, why? I'm your wife. It's my duty to look after you. You're my husband and I want you looking good. And told me I bite my nails and from now on she's going to cut them herself as she wants me having nice nails to my hands and even thought my wife is not a good cook that's her words not mine she went out of her way to cook for me and try new recipes to try cooking i also helped her out from time to time and she tried cooking fried chicken three times the first time she tried it it was undercooked the second time was overcooked third time was delicious my mouth was in heaven it was that good i told her that's the best fried chicken I've ever had, and happily take her fried chicken over KFC. The truth is, my partner goes out of her own way every day to make me happy, and I told her she does not even have to try too hard, because I'm always happier when I'm with her. She used to get a bit mad at me if she seen me cleaning up, and she told me it makes it feel like she isn't doing her job as a wife. I told her, do not be stupid. I am not a man that does not clean my own home and would happily help when I can. She told me when we live together, if she does not have a job and I go to work, she will be cleaning the house every day, making sure I have a meal ready for me when I come back. And you know what? I actually believe her. Filipinos are so proud of their home that they always clean their home, especially if they have company coming. They want their home sparkling clean. If you end up having a Filipino as your partner, If you have masculine energy, her feminine energy will be your yin and yang. She will be there to pick you up emotionally and will help bring you back up if you have had a bad day. She will not argue with you when you come home through the door. She will be loving, welcoming you back home. But like I said earlier in this video, if you are a man that always attracts women with masculine energy, you will attract the same energy here in the Philippines. So before you go to the Philippines, Maybe you should look in the mirror and ask yourself why you attract that energy. And hey, if you like strong, independent women that need no man energy, then you don't need to look in the mirror. There are women here in the Philippines that will give you that same masculine energy that will put their thumb on your forehead and boss you around, if that's your thing. This is just a little tale of my experience, and most are friendly. But all I will say is just keep your wits about you. You are a foreigner in a foreign land. After all, and sadly, I have seen a group of men try and steal from a solo foreigner. So just be smart when going out at night alone. Do not walk down any alleyways at night, basically asking for trouble if you do this. Keep to the main roads, and most importantly, enjoy your stay in the Philippines. I had a wonderful year there, and we'll be going back there very soon. Thanks for listening, and I hope my observations and experience has given you some insight before you decide to head over to the Philippines.